Oh, I see you, Red Button. I'll be right over there in a second. What do you have for me? No! Something has to work! It can't all be for naught! Okay, a lot of dead ends so far. This means we have to check more places. Hey! No, can't walk over there. In a different- in another game I would expect to be able to crawl through that little hole there. And that would help. But maybe that's not the case this time. Huh. I'll keep exploring because I might be missing the entire direction to start things off in, although we did meet that guy, which seems important. Uh... But maybe I'll find myself turning on the visual hints? I actually don't know what they mean. I might want to look into what they mean first, but I think there might be a system where stuff you can interact with has an actual appearance to it, so you can tell. I am blue, da ba dee. Does being blue... Blue does not really help with the, your, your perception of the environment. Alright, let's just keep going. We have a new crystal to check out, at least. Narrative. Oh, it turns off if you walk away. I was trying to get a good, good, good spot. Part of our ecosystem here is our supply of water. It is supplied as a natural process of the system itself, and we don't really understand how. Although, the entire system is very closely tied together. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that this place has a purpose. Others attribute a complex natural process which we one day hope to understand. But either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. Yeah, that's a big deal. Assuming this is some kind of weird alien bubble, like a zoo or something. Or whatever for a certain purpose it might serve. Just assuming that, that, we're, that we're here on purpose, but through some kind of artificial alien means. Uh, makes the whole presence of water seem awfully intentional. Hey there, what's your deal? It could just be worn down cement. Yeah, that's what it is. The cement's just worn down and it's showing the, uh... I did not really mean to take a picture of that. Every now and then I reflexively try to jump with spacebar, but that's fine. Uh... It's just the, the blue speed. I believe it's just the wire framing of the uh, cement when it was poured. And so the cement's worn down so you can see the framing behind it. Oh, did it go back? What do you do? Oh, it's. There's a wire. It seems to go to this gate. But this gate seems a lot less interested in moving. Hello. So I can put this in three modes. I can put it even, or I can raise one or the other, which lowers the other, which means one side has greater flow than the other. And we perhaps won't know what effect that's having until I get behind this gate. Save you as a reminder for later. All right, when I get behind, when I get a chance to get behind that gate, that'll give me an idea of which way I'd want the float even going in, in the first place, if there's even a reason for it. Can I go in here? Oh no! Oh uh, well, this one has an environment behind it. So while I can't go into it right now, at least there's something there. At least that's something. Okay. The bucket's not very interested either. Keep that for later. We just gotta keep looking around. Curious about that guy too, the weird the weird lever. It seems to go nowhere. How about the debris over here? They're growing some plants. Alright, more directions. There's gotta still be more, right? 
That guy's awfully interesting. Let's try to see if I can get closer to him. I've only ever, I only ever went over there, and I haven't tried being in this side. So let's see. No staircase. Or ramp. No obvious things to interact with. This could be something, though. More mining tools. Is it? And another dead end. And it seems to warp straight into the wood, which seems to indicate, as we've seen before, that it's a, something you could actually mine through yourself, but it would take an eternity. That's no small thing. That's something that you need a... For the best effect, you want like a, to have like a community that'll take take out of that sh for shifts at a time. Because this is the last one, last place we saw one of those, right? Yeah. We'll see. So now... I'm maybe at a tad bit of a loss. I feel like I've checked most directions now. But I haven't found a thing to do. I think. Can I grab you? You're a hoe. Sorry, no offense. You're metal. Can, can I tip you over? I thought I might be able to push him in front of the, the, uh... In huh. S we started getting a sound when I did that. What? It's like there's music playing. The fact that this is on the rail makes me think that there might be a minecart somewhere, and if I can push the minecart, it would then come back and block the... Maybe it would reflect that laser into the other laser? Does this guy have anything to say? Sorry about that. Sorry, I was still exploring. I wasn't really thinking about what you said. So we'll follow these power lines then. That's something to go for. Okay. Admittedly, I took a break after the last episode to get it up and everything. Jeez. And we still had some more area to explore. Alright, so the power line goes over that hill. So it still leads us going back there somewhere. Which makes me think that maybe I need to move- have this thing in a certain direction to get the power going? If only I could see over it correct- Ah, if only I could see over it. Okay. I see what's going on here. So if I get on top of that spot where we let the water down in the first place, I could probably see down over the hill. And from there I can probably see what's going on past that wall, which means I can probably make a decision about which way I want the water to go, or- and why. I could probably fumble it back and forth and see if it looks like power happened or not, but it just makes sense to me to go ahead and know what I'm doing. Take me on up. What? Oh. Oh. I can't go back up there because I drained the power, and that was what powered the elevator in the first place. So I currently don't have the ability to reroute the water to get that power going anyway. Well, he said he needed power before uh, I ever did that, so that means that that thing shouldn't be what needs power. But it means I can't do my overlook like I thought. That's fine. Uh, I'll just try going left and right on this thing, and then we'll press from there. Let's see. Can I see through the the gate at all? Oh, that's a super narrow stream. It looks like there's a fork in it. I think. It's hard to be sure. 
Either way, that's the power line on the right. So I think the li the right one needs to be the one. No, the other way. I think right's the one I want to have up. Don't see how I'd I'd be able to tell if power is going correctly or not. Oh, there's a little platform over there. If I could just figure out how to get through this door. I rotate it. No. Is there a visible lock in the way? Just checking for some evidence of like a a latch that's in the way on my side, perhaps I could mess with. Nah, I got it. I only have partial information. Okay. Well, how about you? And you are attached to that spring over there. Can I hold you left? It always goes to the other direction every single time. Okay, I'm seeing that there's scraping marks over here. Like the whole thing turns. So that must be what that hatch does. I mean that that thing must turn it back, back somehow, because it's going up to that that uh, circular area. This seems like the right thought process. Maybe if I invert this again, it'll give me something. There we go. That was the secret. Here I'm thinking about rerouting water. I just need to make it face the right way. I'm not sure what... I'm not entirely sure what caused that, though. Huh. I'm not... I'm not sure what the logic was that made it go that direction specifically, I mean. But, hey. There's only two states for it to, for it to be in. So we got somewhere. Oh. Look at that flare. Welcome back to Firewatch. It's been a long time. We got a bucket. We'll probably get to the tree from here. Or at least the underground area. See people had their laundry out. So there's a lot of hints of people having been here. As far as we can tell, they're all gone. This place almost does look like it'd be a campground. So you got then you gotta wonder if some of the stuff's from the people who were stuck here, or if it's from the people who uh, like the campsites that may have been here when this place got moved in the first place. Although if they if they've been stuck here for a while, they probably would have messed with it by now. Either way, that's a motorcycle on a track. To deal with you, can I turn you on? This seems this seems like it's yeah. Those ones don't have that kind of setup. It looks like they just took whatever parts they could to fix this together. Huh. It's gotta power something, right? Is there a specific part? There's no switch to turn this thing on. This is probably what I'm trying to use, though. It's probably the power. Oh. No? Alright, we can follow the wires at least. Do they both meet up in the Do they join together? Or is one of them torn? Oh, one of them looks like it attaches to the frame, the other one looks, looks like it attaches to the center. Okay, so that's all wired up. There's little chunks of this thing taken out. How about the top? That one leads... Power lines, okay. More reason to follow those power lines again. Just gonna dip in through here real quick. Let's take a look. Fishing rod. Can I use you? I'm sure it's all just color. Let's get right in with the power area. We'll see what we can find in there. Oh. Hello. It's a big old bundle of wires. 
They brought a whole gas station in. Who hides half their island behind a weird, uh... Half their island behind, like, a weird... Turning... What do you... I don't even know what to call that. The plant... The weird... River platform we, we rotated? Oh. You can see where the gas station was just kind of inserted here. It seems like they may have intentionally broken down the asphalt here so they could get a, uh... River flowing through. Or the river may have undercut the asphalt because... The area below it may have been weaker, and maybe it cut through, and then eventually the... All the road just kind of collapsed. Can we use you? There's no receiver, is there? Alright. Get on an internet. Ericston and Riggsville. You can figure out where those are, and those routes. <laughs> you can find out where this built this, uh... Whole building's from. It's... I'd, I'd expect them to use a real place, but who knows. Let's see, the front door is hidden away over there. There's also a freaky robot thing in there that I'd like to encounter. Unless it's, ain't, unless it's not friendly. But can I get inside? A sphere. So we're, we're probably at the center spot of this, considering the sphere is like right over there. There's scrap tunnels, ramp garage, tower, Farley. Town and CW. The line's probably the big central river, I'd assume, so we're actually in the more happening half of this area that has a lot more... a lot more content and detail. But this whole place is kind of blocked off. It's clearly where the power goes. I can check where this, where this wire takes me to. So right up to that building, that, uh, that train car. So here's the top of the tower. All broken down. Just on one side. Oh. Hello. Uh, list of things I was not expecting. Uh, the sphere being a hollow thing that leads to the insides of an alien ruin. <laughs> Probably pretty high on that list. Huh. Well, here's our chance to encounter whatever the hell is going on around us. Seems to be non-interactive. Oh, it's just carved right out, huh? So it seems like they must be able to teleport stuff in perfect, uh, spherical shape. Because this whole thing is a sphere, as we can see from the outside. And it really does just cut off. That seems to be how they took every single special building and so on. But it's not interested in doing being much more than set dressing for now. Everything kind of loops around. You gotta wonder what the motorcycles are for, right? Can I go inside here? They're so good at locking their houses. I should probably be impressed. I top-notch security around here. It's almost as if they were getting ready for a battle or something. All right, this is where the pirate, the all the lines lead me to, and it opens. And I don't know what to do with you, honestly. But it's not even reacting. There we go. Oh, the fuel's empty. Can we change that? So, down is a fuel drain. It's probably bad for us. So, I assume this whole thing just isn't, isn't working in its current state. I think it's going to try to bring the fuel in there, if I can get some. But since I don't have any fuel, that's not happening. So, that means the red pipe's our new goal. And oh, it goes into a tube. I thought it was just it was just ending there, and I was a bit concerned. Oh, here we go. We can just turn the pump on. We're gonna hand crank it. I got this.
I gotta say, I'm rather surprised that the, uh... Oh, is it just gonna keep going? Okay. I'm rather surprised that they took out a circular cut and grabbed that whole building and somehow the fuel tanks are intact. That's pretty lucky. Also means we should have a limited supply. No. Either I don't know anything about electrical engineering, or engines, which I probably don't, or this is somehow not getting in. But it's still empty, huh? Well, then clearly I'm doing something wrong. Oh, is that... I wonder if you're supposed to see it as an interruption of the direction. Like, maybe if it's down, it goes up, and if it's up, it goes down? I don't know, I could always try, I could always try uh, cranking it again. Unless it doesn't work altogether. This is roughly when I expect the whole thing to explode. And then, boy, will I feel silly. I wonder if maybe I didn't do long enough. Oh! Wait. Now I'm doing it backwards. Is that even an option? Can I backwards crank it? I didn't mean to. I don't know, you're hearing a lot of flow noise that would seem to indicate that it was- that's going. Nope, stop. I didn't really tell you to do that again. And it just sits. That's weird. It sort of has a life of its own. So I can hear the flowing. It's gotta be going through here. Aha! The light, it was in the wrong direction before. Alright. Look at that! Now we're cooking with actual real-life gas. Do I stop with the red arrow, perhaps? No? Did I do it wrong? There we go. We should have power now. A good head on back. Now the power should be all regenerated. Actually, let's see the let's see what happens with this orb. I'm curious about this guy. If I press the button, is it going to move? See, now that's interesting because now the staircase the staircase could face in different directions, which might actually affect something about it. So it's over here now. It has these two upward directions. Ooh. If I could make one of these point at a platform, perhaps, there might be somewhere to go. Or I could be completely full of it. One's gotta wonder what the hell this thing's for, because it's just such a strange contraption. Although I don't see much I would... Nah, I don't really see a direction. Maybe the- is there a reason the gouge could be useful? Because even that seems a little doubtful. No? Maybe we'll come back later. We'll see. I might want to just go revisit him and just tell him what's up. So I've gotten the main objective completed. But I've never looked around here. And hey, I might come back- I might need to come back. I probably will need to come back. So I might as well know what we're looking at. Got some boxes. Can I go inside? 
Nope. No ramp on this one. That looks so much like Jet Grind Radio. That logo there. Fly Butterfly. Hello. Seems like we have a lot of things that might be related to generating power around here. On top of having a lot of stuff that gives us water and the ability to grow food. This whole place feels too intentional to be accidentally ha uh, habitable. I should probably be suspicious of finding an open door after all the closed ones, but I'm just happy to go inside. Does it say something? There's a sketch over here. Ah, uh, just in case. My ridiculous backlog of photos is your pro is my problem to sort through later, and something you guys can forget about. <laughs> that sound. Is a red line connecting it? it? Goes up here. Oh, way up there. Curious. Got a vent. I mean, a another shaft. This one just just as inaccessible as the others. Oh, we have a code. Okay. Not a terrible reason to just briefly think, have I seen a number before? 97311. How about that? Huh? 9, 7, shit. 9, 7, 3, 1, 1. Oh, no. It's a four digit code. I was wrong. How could I? Um. There's the numbers, though. Any other case? Almost like 3232 two, two or something? Probably not. Actually, I don't know how to play backgammon, so I don't even know if that does mean a number or not. No, I don't think I have anything to go on yet. We'll see if somebody gives me a code, or if I have something to go on later. Look at that, there's a house- there's a doorway back there. Keep this place in mind for later. It's something different. We've seen locks everywhere. We've seen stuff that doesn't open, we have s places we can't go to. But a place that just straight up has a actual code on it. That's a change of pace. That's a question for me to answer, as opposed to just being a, uh... Oops. Kinda walked up on top of here. I'll check this side out. See if it's a dead end. Instead, it's a it's a question for me to answer as opposed to just a dead end as we've seen so far. More bubble. Seems like this may not go anywhere on this side. It might. Oh, hello. They're right outside now. There's four of them here. That seems awfully important for later. Does this lead me somewhere? Or the same spot? Or nowhere? Apparently nowhere. Almost looks like a 13 or something. I'm sure it's just a random detail though. Don't know if I put much stock into that one. I'll take a look at, look at the weird buoy situation, but then we're probably just gonna head back to the one person willing to talk to us around here. Cause we're getting lonely now. It's been a while. He can give us some newfound direction now that he's got his power. Probably. What a landscape. And this takes me nowhere! Alright, let's head on back then. Hello, graffiti. It's train 2501, and then we have this writing on the wall. Almost looks like 919 or something. It'd be hard to say if any of the graffiti means anything. Like 9838, perhaps? I'm not... I'm, it's kind of hard to read. It might not be numbers at all. It might be a string of symbols. Otherwise, I don't know if we'd be able to pull too much out of some of these guys. Oh, same one repeating. And it, that one seems to be a mirror image. Oh, there's the same graffiti again. 
Okay, maybe there goes the whole idea that graffiti meaning anything if it's a if it's a repeating graffiti. It might have just been them filling space with graffiti. Oh. No, that's stats about the actual compartment. Fly, butterfly. Now nah, we'll see. So, hey now, I'm back at the campsite. Check this out. There's actually a staircase here in the rocks. I keep thinking I'm gonna jump cut straight back to the guy, but... Finding new environmental details here and there. Although there may not be anything else to do up here besides look. We need to find a way to lower that. Maybe I get up there some other way and then I can lower it as a shortcut? That seems about right. I'm curious. I think I actually figured out what was going on with the... The, with the part where it rotated. I think maybe I was basically using it like brakes. If I was supposed to figure out which way it was going to rotate... Maybe based on the coil itself or something? I'm just wondering if there's a way to figure out the rotational direction to indicate the fact that if I lowered the right one, that would pull it back on that side. Specifically something that indicates it rotates, uh... counterclockwise, but not clockwise? Or at least in that position. Who knows? I'm not super clear. Nice trees. Alright buddy, you got a code for me? Or something? Look at that guy running around. It's a surprisingly articulate su silhouette, isn't it? Kind of make out the hair detail a little bit. It's not just a bubblehead man. He actually looks kind of similar to the silhouette of the guy from Witness. Where he has just enough hair that you can see it hanging down a bit off his head. But it's kind of vague in its shape. Alright, the beam continues to be our objective, then. Or at least it continues to be a thing that stands out like it's probably an, an objective. How do we turn you? Or change you in some way? Oh, you probably work now, huh? Now the power's on, there's our indicator. Now we can get inside. Just sort of some light slats? Yeah. Really pretty environment here. Sometimes it's really jarring how some of the most striking visuals come from the indie companies, where they have the le they have oftentimes the least uh, resources with which to make stuff like this, and yet they do. Another game that was really good about that was actually Cradle, 
I didn't like Cradle. I thought that its uh, campaign design was kind of a garbage. But uh, it was a beautiful setting <laughs> for your game. It's a floating rock. This one doesn't seem. This one doesn't seem to come with a uh, a narrator. It's just kind of here. Can I read you? Ambassador Seed swap machine functionality. Radius of swap sphere is def uh, defined at first swap. Immutable. Seeds recharge naturally from uh, ubiquitous am ambient membrane power radiation tied to tree health. Force- so, oh, that's the health of the tree. Interesting. That, that's something I mean the tree. Forcing seed open triggers prep behavior. Radius uh, demarcation. Small battery added to amplify ambient membrane power. Charges continuously. Parabolic focusing of power used to trigger seed swap behavior. Locking location of swap machines assures predictability. No, uh, unanticipated damage. Radius demarcation also occurs at same location in destination sphere. Without a pair seed defining the destination swap location, the destination coordinates match the source. Voila, swapping on swapping on demand. So we, there's a way we can let ourselves jump between two seeds. I think it's trying to say. Also, this seems to indicate this place gets no wind because this is in the open air and there's just notes lying around. So I guess no alien wind, or at least can't get through the bubble. Mayor. Oh, imager request. Uh, entry canyon, Farley's house. Center of town, tree, water source, the waterfall. Membrane, wall, cell, question mark. The wall, tower, locomotive, power generator, scrapyard, garage. Five of these have asterisks. Uh, four of them do not, indicating that those ones do not have imaging. Which is uh, an exact meaning that is still determinate, I'd say. Does the book do anything? Why, hello! <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Does it does it have multiple pages or anything? Or oh, no other actions. Just trying to see what other stuff we might be able to do to interact with this guy. But it seems like you can just open it and close it. Dimensional projector uh, produces apparently solid apparitions with light, volume, and some sort of simulated mass. Oh. When they're talking about imaging, they're talking about the human projectors that are sending messages. We saw one by the waterfall, we saw one of Farley's and at the entrance and so on. Uh, Ruka says all projectors will have similar power levels and communications protocols. They appear to be three primary elements. Uh, projector element, beam emission, provides the primary light source, energy source. Control arm, some kind of control of the beam in three dimensions, color variable and mass invariable. Uh, communication ar arrays, arras, this is hard to read. <laughs> the, the, the typer writing with all its smudging and everything. They don't, someone doesn't have a very heavy hand when they type, so it doesn't get a full print and we keep getting partial letters. Let's see here. I don't know if I can get much information from this. So it seems to be just very specific mathematical members measurements of it. Measurements of the size of the hologram, measurements of the size and power consumption of the device itself. Nothing seems to be any kind of special code. Oh, it turned pages this time. Why didn't that work last time? So these sound will be handled separately. Mostly just a bunch of notes about how they're making these projectors. We have blank pages. Can I keep going? No. Alright. We'll try going all the way to the left and see if we can go past the first page. No. Alright, journal. If I ever need that really specific information, we'll revisit you. That may not be the case, though. Oh, it's another, another orb. Hooked up to a battery. That's just a whole camera. Mofeng uh, Disabler. VLAN technology, notes from Aprar, 
Designed to disable anything based on Morang technology. Disables when blue beam cloud is within about 1.5 feet of any Mofang device element. Elements physically collapse. Reassembly is possible, but not non-trivial. Uh, Aparad assures me that it's not harmful. Still pointing it. Still not pointing it at my head. Ruka says, uh, Ruka has not told the villains uh, provided it. Or has not been told that they provided it. The villains. Is that what we're calling the outsiders? There's gotta be aliens, right? Huh. Dis it came from villains and it disables Mofang. Are those two groups of aliens? Completely separate? Huh. That seems to indicate that it's re releasing the blue beam, and the blue beam apparently disables the red beam or something along those lines? Maybe you'll teach me something about it, huh? I just click on you, maybe? Whoa! Hi. Uh, I think I'm supposed to rotate you towards the, uh... Supposed to rotate you towards the other guy? There it goes. That's a tutorial to see that blue disables red. Alright, now move around. This is awkward. Why are you so nervous? This is just dead. Okay, okay, now what? Okay, that's enough. And I swear, you are a natural. Where did you get these anyway? Are the muffins just giving you stuff now? I'm generous of late. Not gonna look a good torch in the mouth. So CW is working on this with Carolyn. That was like a test. Lockdown list. Lock the tree gate. Farley's house lowered. Wow. A lot of things disabled. Keep a picture of that one around. Please change Farley's lock. Code to secure the vault, her address backwards should suffice. Ooh. Mayor of Jansen. So if I look at Farley's... If I look at Farley's address and put it backwards, we'll get the, uh, the code. That's a big deal. 